Um, okay, so, uh, hi everyone, uh, I'm not gonna edit this video, it's just, I'm a mess right now, it's been more than three days since I know or knew what my status is on college is thesis and I didn't pass it so I'm not gonna yap about everything um, because I'm just gonna tell you the reason as to why I don't know what to do I I'm literally a mess I'm a wreck to some people, it might not be a big deal, but to me it is because it's personal. And plus, I have my plans set out. Like, I have it all planned out after I, I graduate college. But it's over for me to graduate on time because I didn't pass my thesis. It's a continuing status, meaning the paper is fine, but it has more revisions you know i need to revise it more and i need to continue thesis one and defend it again the problem is is that i will defend it but i need to pay more money and plus additional tuition fee miscellaneous fee etc it's an additional semester so that is why i cannot graduate on time and it's a big problem for me because I said to myself and I told myself that I need and I really need it you know I need to graduate on time because after I graduate on time I can now focus fully on you guys on YouTube because ever since I started YouTube in this ch on this channel in 2020 and I started YouTube in 2017 on my stop motion I told myself that this may be my life like I will be doing stop motion toy hunts for my main channel and re some reactions on my main channel that are mainly for Transformers and Marvel and then um, for this channel it would be reactions anime content animation content not just anime anymore just animation in general and some uh manga light novel hunt haul videos and uh i added uh, another one another content for this channel and that is sharing my personal story in an animation format or drawing format whichever one we pick um i will be collaborating with my friend on college um she's very supportive um of my channel that's why we were we're going to collaborate and she's gonna because she is an artist like she can draw but to me I wanted to practice drawing that is why before I enter college I needed to practice drawing but I don't have enough time and so I didn't get the chance to practice my drawing skills although I can see my improvements on my drawing it's just I, it, it's not enough Plus, the college that I was going to enter is too fast-paced. That's why I told you guys I need to graduate on time. It's only a three-year college. You can't have that in any other college. <coughs> but, except this college. No wonder why the, this particular college doesn't have many, when I say many, 99.99% college uh, uh college students in that degree in that certain university cannot graduate on time there's only been one student that graduated on time recently and it's for the entire years of that certain university and that certain degree film digital film um yeah i just don't know what to do because like i said i planned it out i planned my future that I will be doing and focusing YouTube, you guys. Hopefully I don't get emotional, but yeah. Um, because I, I fully set it out. I fully planned it out. And it broke. My plan broke out in an instant. When things changed 
in this particular university when the dean changed as well things have all gone it's all a wasted it's all wasted it's all a waste now all my plans failed just because of that and i feel personally attacked i feel personally targeted by the dean by the professors some certain professors because um in second year i tell you guys this but not all the time but i mention it from time to time that um when my mom was um working abroad for two years um yeah almost two years in fact when she was working abroad providing me money i can get anything that i want and it's just it's a good feeling it's just that <clears throat> sometimes i'm longing or most of the time i'm longing for my mom and <clears throat> because of her i was able to um handle and manage myself i can live by myself without my mom but still um I needed my mom because I'm still a college student and um, I s it's this is kind of my part-time job but it will be my main job for you guys and for me okay because you guys support me you provide me money okay you provide uh, me support and because of that I was able to provide content I was able to provide um, anything for you guys that you guys request as much as I can but since I am focusing on college more you you notice it on my channel that I cannot provide much content anymore especially on my last supposedly last year because I need to focus on my college I need to graduate on time and I noticed that my YouTube analytics just went down like everything went down and then I can't provide money. I can't support my mom for anything. And yeah. And it's just, it's hard for me to keep up. It's hard for me to balance my college life, personal life, and YouTube. I've made some sacrifices. I was so in to my college. I was so in to graduate on time so that after I graduate college, college, I'm finally free and then provide content as much as possible for you guys and for my mom, provide money to support her, support my family now. And I'm the one who's going to manage our family from now on so that she won't have to work anymore. Because she is, like I said, a single mom and I'm an only child. So if I drop out of college, it would look bad. It would look bad for many people. And personally for me, even though I, you, anyone didn't graduate college or anyone didn't go to college, I won't downgrade you. I won't look down on you because college is just more years for you to pay money pay something indoctrination not education that's what i'm getting at and yeah like i said i don't know what to do because my mind is convoluted i'm i'm a mess i don't know what to do because if i drop out of college Probably some of my relatives and strangers, people, would look at me as someone who failed college. And I don't want that because it's not about me. I feel... It's not about me because I feel like my mom is going to be the one that's getting attacked, not me. And I don't want that... I don't want people to look at my mom like that. That I don't want people to look at my mom like that. Okay? 
and that is why I'm working so hard on my college and on YouTube so that for somehow even though it's not monthly I I provide money for my mom and for myself and yeah it's just I don't want people to look at my mom like that it's it's okay if you look at me like that but I don't want my mom to be looked down upon like that the reason the also one of the reasons why I don't like this university anymore is because my thesis the the certain panelist and the not panelist dean said to me that I don't have enough proof so that means YouTube my YouTube videos for stop motion animation is not enough proof for them and my experience is not enough for them you they can look it up on my YouTube I started 2017 up to 2024 and it's not enough for them they want proof that are uh, showcased on film festivals or school projects but the thing is I was focused more on academic works and our school projects don't have animation as a subject that is why I won't I can't I can't do animation I can't do stop motion I can't provide them anything that's solid proof for the school for the university in general I can only showcase my work from the previous uh, from 2017 up to now my evolution my improvement from 27 up to now I used 5 FPS 6 FPS 8 FPS, 8 FPS 10 FPS 12 FPS and then now I use 24 FPS on stop motion you guys know my framing and you, and you guys know what FPS means right the frames per second in animation and it's hard but it's what I do I like doing that it's my passion I love doing it and that's why I chose the film degree because I want to learn I want to be educated more about filming it's not just about me doing films it's about me getting educated about filmmaking and that's what I wanted but the thing is I, I most of the time 20% of the time would be education 80% of the time most of the time would be indoctrination I don't get anything from college at all my tuition fee miscellaneous fee anything that I paid for is a waste it's a total waste my dad is the one that's providing us money because that's their deal um, when they went their separate ways my mom and my dad um, I, sh he's going to be the one that's gonna handle me to my college he's the one that's going to pay for college and I don't I, I saw and I just realized I noticed that my mom said this that um, my uh, my dad actually um, was in debt like money because just so that I can provide and pay my thesis defense it's it's a big amount I'm not gonna say the amount but it's a big amount and so since I didn't pass I didn't go to thesis 2 I'm going back to thesis 1 where I'm gonna pay again the the difference between past continuing and failed is that past you go to thesis 2 and then thesis 3 and then you graduate onwards continuing you need to continue thesis one or if you're in thesis two you're going to continue thesis two to the next semester but you keep the paper you keep the topic you keep your research but you need to revise it that's it for failed you need to scratch the whole thing provide a new research provide a new thesis topic that's the difference of continuing and failed so continuing is basically still failed that is why I don't know what to do if I drop out of college I can provide more content but at the same time I'm still not certain if I can be not I don't it's not that I don't it's not that I want to be super super popular as a youtuber I just want to be able to provide 
for myself and for my family. That's all I ever wanted. And provide content for you guys. That's all I ever wanted. Because providing content is so fun for me. It's so much fun. And so I'm yapping. But yeah, like I said, I'm not going to yap about anything that happened in the university. It's just that I feel like they personally attacked me on my schedule. Because they said 10 days is not enough for my stop motion. For me, it's more than enough. Because I do stop motion. Um, for a whole night, I do stop motion. For that's 30 seconds for two day, or two nights, it would be a minute or almost two minutes. That's how I do stop motion. Plus, it's 24 FPS. And if it's clay, it's also easy for me. Because if it's a whole day, I can focus on clay on the claymation to stop motion they don't trust me in that one and so if that is the case then we'll just have to change the schedule up to a month two months if so yeah I can actually do it on my own I don't need crew <sighs> and the reason also why I feel like I'm personally attacked is because that Dean also was my professor on experimental film and he didn't like my experimental film birthday but we were forced to submit it on the film festival and the, the panelists the special juries actually liked my film not my dean not my professor so at the time I was doubting myself am I really good at filmmaking especially the experimental film but un not until I heard what the panelists the the real professional juries and the real professional filmmakers in the mainstream thought of my film they were well-known directors and well-known filmmakers yeah my doubts were gone i feel i i thought to my i really did doubt myself that maybe it's not for me because my professor um just went ahead and you know, lashed out all the negativity about my film. Yeah. And that's him now as well on my thesis proposal. It's just a proposal. But he personally attacked my schedule. Schedule can be revised in thesis too. Like, I don't know why, but I feel like that's the main reason why they made my status continuing. It's, it's, it's the schedule. Because I don't have enough proof for them. And the schedule is not enough. That can be easily revised in Thesis 2. But yeah. Um, like I said, I don't know what to do anymore. So if I drop out of college, I can now focus on you guys. I can do Twitch, live stream, and... I can get to chat with you guys and then um, yeah I can fully focus on you now and then upload daily content as much as possible one video per day and sometimes even two to four times four videos per day you know if I can and um, I can now take on requests on patreon seriously even more because even patreon members know and they noticed that I'm very inactive because I've been focusing myself on college. I've been focusing on my thesis because I want to graduate on time so that I can focus on you guys. But now that it's gone, my purpose is gone. My goal is gone. I feel like dropping out is my only option, but it comes with lots of responsibilities and sacrifices because... Like I said, I don't want my mom to get looked down upon. Because I'm an only child. And she's a single mom. So. Yeah. I need your help. When it comes to my decision. Because right now, I am a mess. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Because. Yeah. they They didn't tell me what the reasons are for my continuing status on the thesis it's just it's mind-boggling to me that 
they didn't provide any reasons. If the scheduling is the only reason, then that's just messed up, honestly. That's just fucked up, honestly. Because that can be easily revised in Thesis 2. And if I continue college, I have an OJT on the job training. So that means lesser and lesser focus on YouTube. I can't focus on you guys if that is the case. And I fear that um, you guys will be gone. You guys would unsubscribe to my channel. My supporters will be gone because I'm gone for months and probably a year if that were to happen. That's why as much as possible, even if it's a week, weekly uploads, I I want to upload videos, two videos per week as as much as possible, you know, at the very least. That's that's the least I can do. Even though it's hard for me to manage my own time because even in my documentary class when we were supposed to document our daily life, that was last year. They my professor didn't believe me that I cook for myself, I do the laundry, I do work YouTube, and I I clean up. I didn't even record that I also do stop motion because it shows that I can't do everything all at once, all in one day. So, I don't know what to do because it feels like everything that I provide is not enough for them even though i showed it to them on video a documentation video that i do that they won't they still won't believe me because it seems absurd that is that a college student a, a boy in fact is doing chores house chores and work at the same time i feel personally attacked by that as well i feel offended because it, it feels like their world their worldview their point is that male doesn't do house chores and it <laughs> it feels like to me that i as a as a as a male should not be doing that and i should i could not like it feels like i should not be able to do that because i'm a man it's supposed to be women's work females work like it feels like that's their point of view because to them, it feels exaggerated, it feels absurd, it feels unreal for a male to cook for himself, to do laundry, to do the house chores, to do work on YouTube. And I'm, I can also fold my, my, uh, my shirt, my shorts, everything. Like I can do it because my mom taught me. My mom taught me. That's why I I am glazing my mom. I'm so proud of my mom. Because even though back in the day, I was complaining so much as to why she's letting me do this. She's, why she's teaching me this. Why is she teaching me everything that she's supposed to do? Like that's what That was my mindset when I was a kid. Because... I was... In grade school, I was in elementary school in the day, back in the day. She taught me how to cook. And then in the high school, she taught me how to do laundry. She taught me how to cook even more, how to do this cooking session, how to do everything, how to, how to chop onions, garlic, how to even um, cook rice. And how to fold shirts, shorts. Like, because, fun fact, even if you go to my province, if you're here in the Philippines, and if you ask my teacher in junior high, I told them my story. And my classmates believe me because they saw it in their own eyes that I'm the one, I'm basically the housekeeper i'm basically the maid of the house because back in the day our maid left they left us alone we don't have guardian we don't have a guardian like no one is handling us no one is managing us 
So I'm the one that's doing all the chores. My cousin doesn't know how to do these things. So I'm the one that's able to provide. I wake up at 3 a.m. to cook rice, food, and get ready for school because my school schedule is at 6 a.m. I need to be there before 6 a.m. So I wake up at 3 a.m. I sleep at 8 p.m. just to have enough sleep. And I was doing assignments as well. Like it was, t it was a very tough time for me. And that all that also happened last year in my college in the second year. But my t my professor this time does not believe me. And so I personal I w I feel personally attacked because. They still don't believe in my skills, in my stop motion, even though my YouTube works are, are proof enough, even though I did one school project, and that is in a minor subject, a GED class, I did stop motion because it's an art form. So I, I don't know what I'm supposed to do because my main goal is to graduate on time. I just want this thesis film to get it over with. I'm so done with college. Like, I feel... I feel like I've lost everything that I wanted and needed to do. Now that I didn't pass my thesis. If I do drop out of college, which I hope my uh, my hard work pays off on YouTube, this is my sacrifice because I'm not going to focus on this job and I'm going to be doing my thesis film and distribute it here in on YouTube. And so I hope it receives well if I... If I do drop out, I'm going to continue my claymation and just upload it here on YouTube for you guys to see. I'm not even going to do it for school. I'm not going to do it as a thesis project anymore if I do drop out. So that is it. That's all I wanted to say. Uh, I'm not going to go. It's, it's already long enough. I yapped longer than I ever thought I would. So... Um, I'm not, like I said, I didn't, uh, I didn't specify a lot of things because I don't want to attack them. And yeah, unless I know the main reasons why, probably because I don't have local studies, then that's the thing. They said the, the studies should be up to date 2014 to 2024, but I don't have anything that's local about my topic men's emotions here in the philippines the latest would be around 90s or below 2014 and yeah that, that's prohibited by the way in the beginning and now they're allowing it which is kind of messed up they should have told me that in the beginning so yeah it's kind of it's weird so yeah I, I really do feel personally attacked because they should have told me that yeah Anyway, um, that is it. Let me know what you guys think. Because if I do quit college, let's just say quit college, not drop out of college. If I do quit college, then I can provide more content for you guys. I can, um, I can fully focus on you guys. Because I want my mom to f be to feel at peace. She feels I need her to feel relaxed because she's she's done more than enough for me and I want to pay her back by by being able to provide support you know because I want to do YouTube and yeah I have two channels one is for stop motion like I said Transformers Marvel and this one mainly for animation so yeah I want her to feel relaxed I want her to feel at peace when I'm done with college I want her to not feel that uh, that
that I'm burdening myself. I'm taking so much responsibility to myself. I want her to feel that I can provide enough, more than enough for her. And so that's why I pull her in my video sometimes. You know, I did a reaction with my mom. So I want her to feel that. I want her to feel relaxed. That's all I ever wanted. But this college, this university won't let me graduate on time. So I feel terrible right now. Anyway, um, that is it for now. Um, sorry for yapping for 30 minutes long. Um, th this video has no cut whatsoever. Uh, I'm just going to upload this raw and yeah. Um, let me know what you guys think. You got your, your comments, your suggestions matter to me as well because I, I don't know what to do. My friends are very supportive. If they said that if I want to drop out, they will fully support me and yeah, they will respect my decision and even though they don't want me to drop out because you know uh we we're buddies we're we're college friends and even my friends uh in province my good old friends my trustworthy friends did say that um they still they would still respect my decision because i have youtube and i don't even know if this will last long though um yeah i feel like this university this degree isn't my calling so yeah anyway thank you so much for the support every time and thank you for listening to me yapping for 30 more than 30 minutes long so yeah um sorry if i cried earlier i i, I just don't want to i just don't want people to look at my mom like that because my mom is a very kind loving person and she's done so much for me you have no, you guys have no idea how much sacrifice that she made for me just for me just for me to be here and she has supported me all the way she's been my number one subscriber number one supportive fan on youtube ever since i started even though we have our um arguments over time on youtube because sometimes i uh, i overwork myself and sometimes um i neglect my house chores i neglect my mom's um orders for me to go you know yeah we have our arguments because i don't listen because i was doing youtube um but if i if i'm ever done with college now i can do both now because i feel free i feel liberated and yeah but your comments matter as well what are your suggestions uh, it, should i drop out should i continue if i do continue will you still be here to support me for probably two years if i'm gone because if that's the case, then my YouTube would be in inactive and it won't, it won't be recommended anymore. Building a career on YouTube is harder. It's harder now. Compared to before, it's much harder today. So thank you everyone for the support. I really do appreciate it. Like it means so much to me from the bottom of my heart. I really do thank you all. Like this is a lot for me thousand subscribers is so much to me already it it means a lot when i reached that milestone i felt good super good and now that i'm reaching almost 2000 subscribers before the end of the year i feel awesome actually even though it may seem small compared to other youtubers out there i i feel grateful like 2000 2000 people supporting me like can you believe that like i feel super good knowing that there are 
thousands of people watching me and supporting me so yeah let me know what you guys think and thank you for listening um all the way till the end and um yeah this is just so personal so i'm not gonna go into detail maybe if i'm done with college maybe i'll go into detail in the future but now i just i just want to get this over with so yeah i'll see you on other videos i might be uploading blue box later as well but we'll see I, i'm not gonna edit it as much because i don't have the energy to do it so um yeah anyway thank you guys so much for watching and uh we see you peace out